Daddy Pig's birthday. Today is Daddy Pig's birthday. Daddy Pig has to go to work. Daddy, I wish you didn't have to work on your birthday. <laughs> so do I. But I'll be home as soon as I can. See you later. See you later. <laughs> While Daddy Pig is at work, we can get all his birthday surprises ready. <laughs> First, we'll make Daddy's birthday cake. We start with butter and sugar and flour. Then we add an egg. And most important of all, the chocolate bits. Ooh. Mummy Pig is making a chocolate cake. Daddy Pig loves chocolate cake. I give it a stir. Mummy, can I stir? Yes, Peppa. Peppa loves stirring. George wants to go. <laughs> <laughs> OK, George, that's enough stirring. There, Daddy Pig's chocolate cake. Hooray! <laughs> now, we just have to bake it in the oven. Mummy, can I lick the spoon? Yes, you can lick the spoon and George can lick the bowl. Yippee! Pepper and George love chocolate cake mixture. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Daddy Pig, he's missing all the fun. Mummy! Can I ring Daddy at work and say happy birthday? That's a nice idea. This is the office where Daddy Pig works. Hello, Mr Rabbit speaking. May I speak to Daddy Pig, please? Someone for you, Daddy Pig. It sounds important. Hello, Daddy Pig speaking. Happy birthday, Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Pepper. Don't be late home, Daddy. Bye-bye. <coughs> Bye-bye. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> There's just one more thing to do before Daddy gets home. Yes, Daddy's birthday surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Shh, George, remember, it's a secret. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and George have buckets of water. Mummy Pig has balloons. <laughs> I wonder what Daddy Pig's birthday surprise can be. <laughs> Daddy's home! Quick, back to the house. Daddy Pig is home from work. Happy birthday, Daddy Pig! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Wow. What a lot of candles. That's because you are very, very old, Daddy. <laughs> you must blow out all your candles in one go. <laughs> I'll do my best. <gasps> Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> and here's your birthday present. Thank you. New boots. Fantastic! Let's try them out. Pepper, George and Mummy Pig are wearing their boots. <laughs> Daddy Pig is wearing his birthday boots. Daddy Pig has found a little puddle. Let's see if these boots work. The puddle is a bit too little for Daddy Pig. Hmm. What I need is a big puddle. <laughs> Why not try over here, Daddy Pig? Ooh! What's this? It's your special birthday surprise. <laughs> shh, shh. <laughs> what are they up to? A big muddy puddle. Fantastic! <laughs> my birthday boots work perfectly. Would you care to join me in my birthday muddy puddle? <laughs> Daddy Pig loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. This is my best birthday ever! <laughs> <laughs> Looking for things. Pepper and her family are in the kitchen. Mummy Pig is making an apple pie. Is the apple pie ready yet, Mummy? No, Pepper. It has to cook in the oven. Well, it looks like we'll just have to wait. Yes. What are you all doing? We're waiting for the apple pie. Well, it's going to take time to cook. Why don't you all wait somewhere else? 
Oh, oh okay. okay. What do we do now? Well, I was going to do my crossword puzzle, but I can't find anything to write with. We'll find you something, Daddy. Come on, George. <laughs> 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 George, we need to find something for Daddy to write with. <laughs> George has found Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> you can't write with Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> George has found a toy train. And you can't write with a train. Oh. Look, a crayon. <laughs> Daddy can write with this. <laughs> Come on, George. <laughs> Daddy, we found something to write with. Oh, a crayon. Just what I needed. Thank you, Pepper and George. Hmm. Ah. Oh. Can we look for something else? OK, let's play a looking game. Find something that is the shape of a square. A square? Yes. There must be something square-shaped in this room. Can you see a square, George? George has found a clock. Hmm. That's a circle. Oh. We need to find a square. That picture is a square. <laughs> Very good. You found a square. Hooray! What should we look for now? Now, you must find something that makes a squeaky noise. Something that makes a squeaky noise. Try looking in the bathroom. OK. <laughs> look for something that makes a squeaky noise, George. George has found a towel. Towels don't squeak. <laughs> Towels are very quiet. Oh. Squeaky, the rubber duck. <laughs> that makes a squeaky noise. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, look what we found. Oh, oh, excellent. Now see if you can find something the colour of blue. Something blue? OK. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George have found a ball. That's not blue. That's red. Oh. Pepper and George look in Mummy and Daddy's bedroom. Aw, there's nothing blue here. Pepper and George look in the office. Everything is not blue. Did you find anything? There is nothing in the whole house that is blue. Hmm, have you looked in the mirror? Daddy, the mirror is not blue. <gasps> blue! What is it, George? Blue! <laughs> George is blue! That's right! <laughs> <laughs> Peppa! George! Mummy, Mummy! We've been looking for things! Oh, I've got something you can look for. What is it, Mummy? It's round. A ball! Round and flat on top. A bit like a hat. A hat! And it tastes yummy. The apple pie! Yes, the apple pie is ready. Hooray! Hooray! I love looking for things. And I love finding things. Especially when it's apple, apple pie! pie. <laughs> <laughs> Jelly! Mummy Pig is working on her computer. Mummy? Sorry, Peppa. I've got a lot of important work to do today. Oh. You two can help me in the kitchen. OK. There's a cupboard in here that needs a jolly good tidy. Ooh. Could you pass me a pan, please? Here's a pan, Daddy. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> Thank you, George. What is this funny thing? That is a special bowl for making jelly. Ooh, I like jelly. <coughs> can we make some jelly? Good idea, Peppa. Maybe it can be a surprise for Mummy Pig. Yes! First, we need to go to the shops and get everything we need to make jelly. <laughs> Goodbye, Mummy Pig. We're just popping out. OK, see you later. 
Daddy, Peppa and George have come to the supermarket. Daddy, what things do we need to make jelly? Well, we don't need flour or eggs or milk or butter. To make jelly, we just need, uh, jelly. It doesn't look very wibbly or wobbly. We add water to make it wibbly wobbly. Oh. What flavour do you want? Cheese. George <laughs> likes cheese. I don't think they have cheese jelly, George. Oh. There is strawberry, orange or lemon flavour. I like strawberry. Remember, the jelly is for Mummy Pig. What do you think she would like? Uh, strawberry. Hello, Pepper and George. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Can you guess what we're making? Let me see. Are you making jelly? Yes. I love jelly, all wibbly wobbly and delicious. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> we're back home, Mummy Pig. Very good. Right, let's make jelly. <laughs> First, we open the packet and take out the jelly cubes. They are a bit wibbly and wobbly. We break the jelly cubes into a bowl and add some hot water. A grown-up must do this bit and stir. The water has gone strawberry colour. Yes, the jelly cubes have melted. Now we can pour it into the jelly mould. The fridge will make it go cold and wobbly. How long will it take? Not long. Let's set the timer. When the timer goes ping, the jelly will be ready. It's taking a long time. While we wait, let's make Mummy a card to go with the jelly. Yes! Pepper and George are drawing a jelly card <laughs> for Mummy Pig. Very good. What should we write inside? Um, dear Mummy. All this jelly is for you. Love from Peppa and George. Kiss, kiss. Um, please can you share your jelly with Peppa and George? <coughs> and can Daddy have some too? Lovely. The timer has gone ping. And the jelly is ready. We just turn the mould over on the plate and out pops the... Jelly! It's wibbly and it's wobbly. Blah, blah, blah. The end. Mummy Pig has finished her important work. <gasps> Mummy's coming. Surprise! Surprise! <gasps> How wonderful. We made jelly. Ooh, my favourite. And it's all for you. And some for me and George and Daddy. Wibbly wobbly jelly. Thank you. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Pig, Pepper and George like jelly. Everyone likes jelly. <laughs> Pancakes. It is tea time and Mummy Pig has a surprise for everyone. Today is a day for pancakes. Pancakes. Delicious. <laughs> I love pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone loves pancakes. I'm the expert at flipping the pancakes over. Leave that to me. Are you sure, Daddy Pig? Last time you got a bit grumpy when you dropped the pancake on the floor. I did not get grumpy. There was a problem with the frying pan. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, can we help make the pancakes, please? Yes, you can help me make the batter. First, I put some flour in the bowl. Ooh. Now I add an egg. Now the milk. And I give it all a stir. Mummy, can I stir? Yes, of course, Peppa. Peppa loves stirring. George wants to stir as well. <laughs> No, George, like this. <laughs> OK, that's enough stirring. You two sit at the table while I cook the pancakes. Mm -hmm. 
Mummy Pig is going to flip the pancake over. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> you could flip it higher, Mummy Pig. You can show us how when you flip your own pancake, Daddy Pig. This first pancake is for George. Mummy Pig pours a little syrup on George's pancake. Delicious! This pancake is for Pepper. Hooray! Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> you could flip it higher, Mummy Pig. You will get a chance to show me when you flip your own pancake, Daddy Pig. Syrup, please. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> this pancake is for Mummy Pig. Hooray! <laughs> you still aren't flipping them high enough, Mummy Pig. The next pancake is yours, Daddy Pig. So now you can show us how it should be done. Mm, delicious. Mm. <laughs> is everyone watching? The secret of making a good pancake is to flip it high into the air. <laughs> A one, two, three, whoopla! <gasps> Silly Daddy. Oh, maybe that was just a bit too high. Oh, what a shame. That was the last pancake. It should be a simple matter to get it down. <sighs> oh, dear. Daddy Pig cannot reach his pancake. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I think I know a way to get it down. Let's go upstairs, children. <laughs> this way. <laughs> what is Mummy Pig planning to do? On the count of three, we all have to start jumping up and down. One, two, three, jump! <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> It worked! Now Daddy Pig has his pancake. Daddy has a pancake on his head. <laughs> <laughs> Syrup on your pancake, Daddy Pig? Yes, please. <laughs> One, two, three, hoopla! Mm. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Pig's birthday. Pepper and her family are dressed in their very best clothes. <laughs> Today is Grandpa Pig's birthday. A party, a party, we're going to a party. You know, it's not really a party, Pepper. What do you mean? It's just a nice quiet meal in a restaurant on Grandpa Pig's birthday. And you haven't been to a restaurant before, have you? No. So that will be fun, won't it? Yes. <laughs> Pepper and her family have arrived at the restaurant. Ooh, this is nice. <laughs> we can sit here. No, Pepper, come back. Why? We have to be shown to our table by the waiter. <clears throat> Have you booked a table? We're with Grandpa Pig. Please, uh, follow me. Hello. 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 Are you here for the party? Shush, Pepper. These people are having their own meals. And remember, it's not really a party. Oh. Pepper, George. Happy birthday, Grandpa. <laughs> Is this my birthday card? Yes. We made it ourselves. It's lovely. But it's sad it's not a real birthday party. I think I'm a bit too old for a real party, Pepper. I think Grandpa would rather have a nice quiet meal. With party hats. <laughs> oh, Peppa, that's not a hat. It's a napkin. The napkins are to stop food and drink getting on your best clothes. <clears throat> Would you like to order drinks, madame? Could we have a bottle of water, please? Of course. Can I get you anything else? Party hats, please. Party hats? Yes, because it is my grandpa's birthday. A grandpa pig's birthday. I'll see what I can do. 
Pepper, they don't have party hats in posh restaurants like this. Et voilà, party hats. <laughs> oh, party hats. Oh, uh, thank you. Are you ready to order food? Yes, yes please. please. On the menu today, we have dried fish with seaweed cheese, strained carrot on a mussel cuff, or cream of sweet in a vegetable soak. Um, I think I might try the, uh, strained carrot on a mussel cough. Uh, cream of sweet for me, please. Perhaps the dried fish... Ah, uh, say them again, please. And for the children? Spaghetti, please. Spaghetti. Pepper and George <laughs> love spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti is not on the menu, but I will ask the chef. Pepper, you can't ask for things that aren't on the menu. Strained carrot, cream of sweet, dried fish. And for the children, the chef has made spaghetti. Hooray! Spaghetti! Bon appetit. <laughs> mm. Actually, it's my birthday. Could I have the spaghetti too, please? And me. And me. And me. And, and, me. Me. and me. Everybody loves spaghetti. Would you like some cheese on your spaghetti? Cheese! And balloons, please. Balloons? Of course. Mm. Marvellous. Lovely. Balloons! Hooray! <laughs> this is starting to feel like a birthday party. The only thing missing is the cake. Oh! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Grandpa Big! Blow out the candles, Grandpa! <gasps> Hooray! Birthday party music, please. <laughs> <laughs> this is such fun. <laughs> Happy birthday, Grandpa. <laughs> Ice cream. Pepper and George are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house today. To me, George. Throw to me. <laughs> Mr. Labrador is here in his new ice cream van. Ice, ice cream. cream! Hooray! Everyone is queuing for ice cream. Ruff. Hello, Mrs. Cat. What flavour would you like? Is the vanilla ice cream nice? Oh, I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. It is Mr. Labrador's first day selling ice creams. Oh, it's delicious. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Would you like one? Yes, please. What's the strawberry flavour like? I I'd better check. Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh, that's nice as well. I want a strawberry ice cream. <coughs> what do you want, George? Ice cream. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, no, 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 no. Is the mint ice cream good? Mmm, <coughs> lovely. Four mint ice creams, please. Thank you, Mr Labrador. It is Pepper and George's turn. Can I have a strawberry ice cream, please? Ah, oh, I seem to have run out of strawberry ice cream. Then can I have a vanilla ice cream, please? Oh, there's no vanilla left either. Actually, I've got no ice cream left at all. <laughs> no ice cream? <laughs> Hmm, maybe I tried too many myself. <laughs> yes, maybe you did. Mr Labrador loves ice cream. Don't worry, my little ones. Let's make our own ice cream instead. Can we do that? Yes, we used to make ice cream for your mummy when she was a little piggy. Oh, homemade ice cream? That sounds lovely. Ruff. Up aboard now, take it back home. Can we have the ice cream music, please? Good idea, Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's make ice cream. First, we pour some milk into a jug. Then we add some cream. Now, what flavour would you like your ice cream to be? We do have raspberries and strawberries from the garden. Yes! Let's make raspberry and strawberry ice cream. <laughs> In they go. Then we pour all our ingredients into a freezer bag. Now we need to make it very cold. Ooh. 
We'll put the ice cream bag into this bag full of ice and salt. And wrap it all in a towel. Now for the fun part. We shake it up and down for five minutes. You can start the shaking, Peppa. Ice cream, ice cream, shake, shake, shake. Ice cream, ice cream is what we make. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Peppa. Ice cream, ice cream! <laughs> Ice cream, ice cream, shake, shake, shake. Ice cream, ice cream is what we make. One last shake from me and I think it might be ready. Did it work? Yes. Ooh. Ooh. It's the best ice cream in the world. Yum, yum. Granny, can all my friends come for ice cream? Of course they can, Peppa. Ho, ho. In that case, we'll need to make a lot more ice cream. Hooray! Hooray! Ice cream! The best ice cream in the world! All of Peppa's friends are here for ice cream. Hooray! Can I have banana? Can we have raspberry? Can I have blueberry, please? Here you go! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Peppa! Mm. That's delicious! Have you got carrot flavour? Oh, I don't think so. Yes, we do. Made with carrots from my very own garden. Mmm! Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> I love ice cream. We all love ice cream, Mr Labrador. Yes, but I really love ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Breakfast Club! Pepper and her friends are going to playgroup earlier than usual this morning. Good morning, children. Good morning, Madam Gazelle. Who knows why we have come to playgroup early today? Is it because we didn't learn enough things yesterday? No, Danny, that is not the reason. Is it because you like us so much? Well, I do like you all, but it is not the reason. Is it a very special day today? Yes, Pedro. We have all come to play group early because today is breakfast club. Ooh! And who knows what we do at breakfast club? Eat our breakfast! Correct. I love eating breakfast. So do I. Me too. Everyone <laughs> loves eating breakfast. And why is it so important to have a good breakfast? Because breakfast wakes your mouth up. So we can do lots of talking. Talk, 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 talk. Yes, yes, thank you, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> I eat breakfast because it tastes nice. Yes, Pedro. And breakfast gives us energy to use throughout the day. Uh... What is energy? Energy is the strength and vitality required for physical or mental activity. That's right, Edmund. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rebecca, what do you use your energy for? I use it for hopping. <laughs> Very good. I use energy for thinking. What's he doing? Edmund is thinking. Yes, I was thinking. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. <laughs> it can take a lot of energy to think. Ooh. And now we will all choose what to have for breakfast. We have bread, cheese, jam, porridge, yogurt. May I have carrots for my breakfast, please? Yes, you may. Can I have cereal, please? Of course you can. <laughs> Madam Gazelle? Can I have toast, please? Yes, Susie. I shall make you some toast. Does anyone else want toast? No, no thank, thank you. you. OK. The bread goes in here, and we push this lever down. The toaster gets very hot, so please do not touch it. And wait for it. It's coming any minute. Hoppla! Got it! Wow! Can I have toast, please? And me! And me! Everybody wants toast for breakfast. Well, in that case, I will have to use the big toaster. Ooh! It's a super toaster. <laughs> Plates ready, everyone. 
Wait for it. Here it comes. Whee! <laughs> Everyone has caught their toast. Again, again, again! No, children. Eat the toast you have first. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have honey on my toast, please? Can I have marmalade, please? Of course, children. I'm having strawberry jam on mine. I'm having honey, marmalade and strawberry jam on my toast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting lots of energy in my tummy. So am I. I'm getting strawberry jam energy. I'm getting honey jam and marmalade energy. Everyone has lots and lots of energy. And now it is time for us to do a breakfast bounce. Follow me. <laughs> Use the energy from the food to get our bodies and minds ready for the day. Copy me, children. Egg, apple, yogurt, pancake and toast. Which one for breakfast do I like the most? Toast, honey, egg, yum. Toast, toast, toast. toast. Breakfast is... Strawberries. Pepper and George are visiting Granny and Grandpa Pig. Come and see the strawberries I've grown. Grandpa Pig has spent days and days growing strawberries. I think you will be impressed. Perhaps we can make some strawberry jam. Yes, please. Pepper and George <laughs> love strawberry jam. <laughs> May I present my strawberry? One strawberry? You've grown one strawberry? It will be the best tasting strawberry ever. Why is it hiding in a little house, Grandpa? It is hiding because the cheeky little birds have eaten all the rest. Ah! Uh. You cheeky bird! So now there are no strawberries. And we won't make jam. We can still make jam. I know a place that has lots of strawberries. <laughs> It's a strawberry farm. Ooh. So that's where we will go. This is the strawberry farm. Hello there. Have you come to pick strawberries? Yes, Miss Rabbit. Then you've come to the right place. We've got nothing here but strawberries. Wow. So many strawberries. Pick as many as you like. <laughs> here is Pedro Pony with his mummy and daddy. Hello. Hello, Pedro. Have you picked a lot of strawberries? Yes, but my mummy and daddy keep eating them. Oh, is this the way out? I never want to see a strawberry ever again. How strange. I suppose some people just don't like strawberries. <laughs> Picking strawberries is fun. I must say, these strawberries do look lovely. But the real test is if they taste any good. Actually, that is rather good. Mmm, yummy! I love the strawberry farm. Strawberry, strawberry, juicy, red and sweet. Strawberry, strawberry, they're so nice to eat. Mmm, scrumptious. But remember, everyone, we're here to collect strawberries to take home and make jam. Put them in your baskets and try not to eat too many. Yes, yes Granny Pig. Pig! I'll just have one last one. <laughs> I suppose one more won't hurt. Naughty Granny! Naughty Grandpa! Right you are, Peppa. This really is the very last one. <laughs> I can't stop eating them. Hello, birdies. Have you come to eat the strawberries? The little birds do not want to eat the strawberries. Perhaps they have just eaten too many, Peppa. <coughs> yes, I think I've eaten too many. Oh. Peppa's basket is full. George's basket is full. Granny and Grandpa's baskets are empty. Granny, Grandpa, where are your strawberries? Oh, in our tummies. <coughs> Maybe it's time to go home. Here is Danny Dog with his mummy and daddy. They have just arrived at the strawberry farm. Hello, Pepper. <coughs> Hello, Danny. Look at all these strawberries. Oh, don't say that word. 
what? Strawberries? Ooh! How strange! I suppose some people just don't like strawberries. I see you've picked a lot of strawberries. Ooh. Where's the way out? The way out is just through the gift shop. What do you sell in your shop, Miss Rabbit? Strawberry cake, strawberry cookies, strawberry cheese, strawberry juice, strawberry sweets, strawberry... Anything without strawberries? Uh, no. I think we've had our fill of strawberries, thank you. Funny, no one ever buys anything from this shop. Miss Rabbit, look at how many strawberries we picked. <laughs> well done, Pepper and George. Now we can make strawberry jam. Oh. <laughs> Pepper and George love strawberries. Everyone loves strawberries. Father's Day. Today is Father's Day. It is the day when everyone thanks their daddy for being their daddy. Ah, what a great day to be a father. Mummy, can me and George play in the garden today? Of course, Pepper. I might do some weeding. Well done, Mummy Pig. This garden could do with a bit of a tidy up. And, uh, what are you going to do today, Daddy Pig? The grass needs cutting. Uh, I think I will just be a father today. Can you be a father and cut the grass? You've all forgotten, haven't you? Forgotten what? It's Father's Day when daddies get thanks and cards. And sometimes cake. Is it like Mother's Day? Sort of. Although Mother's Day is a real day. And Father's Day is a sort of made-up modern thing. What do you mean? It's exactly like Mother's Day, but for daddies. Poor Daddy. We forgot. Yes. Sorry, Daddy Pig. What would you most like to do on your special day? Um, could I watch some racing cars on TV? There you go! Fantastic! Daddy Pig loves watching racing cars on TV. <sighs> Pepper, George, it would be really lovely if you made Daddy a Father's Day card. Yes! <laughs> Here is Daddy in the garden, <laughs> in the long grass. Wonderful! What do you want it to say inside? To you, Daddy. You are the bestest daddy in the whole world. Well done. Kiss, kiss. Lovely. Hmm. It just needs one more thing. Glitter. Oh, uh, I'm not sure it needs glitter, Pepper. Yes, it does need glitter. Uh, I think the glitter is lost. Found it. Someone has put the glitter high up on top of the fridge. Oh, well done for finding it, Pepper. <coughs> Ah, this is nice. Happy Daddy's Day! <laughs> oh, what a lovely card. Open it! Ah, glitter! Yes, we used all the glitter. How wonderful. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves glitter. Everyone loves glitter. <laughs> now, let's make a Father's Day cake. What can we put in the cake? <laughs> yes! George, Daddy does like cereal. <laughs> and tomato ketchup. <laughs> I'm not sure Daddy Pig likes ketchup in cake. Daddy does like ketchup. <laughs> Everyone likes tomato ketchup. Cheese. Yes, George. Daddy loves cheese. <laughs> oh, oh, what's going on here? <gasps> Daddy, don't look. It's a surprise. You were supposed to be watching racing cars on TV. I thought I would get up and do something. You could always cut the grass. Daddy can't work on Daddy's Day, Mummy. Thank you, Peppa. You can give me and George piggyback rides. Ah. <laughs> oh, oh. It's hard work not working. <laughs> now it's time for your tea party. This way, Daddy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Would you like some tea? Thank you, Pepper. And is there any cake? Oh, yes, the cake. Mummy! Please bring the cake. Here it is, Pepper. 
But I'm not sure it's the sort of cake that can actually be eaten. Yes, it is. It is the best cake ever. George and me made it all ourselves. Fantastic. I can't wait to try it. Mm. What's in it? All your favourite things. Mmm, tasty. Did you have a nice day, Daddy? <laughs> yes, Pepper and George. It was super. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves Father's Day. Everybody loves Father's Day. Clubhouse shop. Pepper and her friends are playing in their clubhouse. <laughs> what game should we play today? Let's play shop. Yay! Shop, shop, shop. 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 The clubhouse has a counter, like a little shop. What are we going to sell? We've got toy plastic fruit and cheese in the fridge. The little shop is open. Ho, ho, ho. What can we buy? Plastic fruit and plastic cheese. Can I have some plastic cheese, please? Yes, Mummy. And maybe a plastic apple to go with it. Thank you. That will be... A lot of money, please. Oh, dear. I didn't bring any money with me today. That's OK. You can use these buttons. Lovely. Here are two buttons. Thank you. <laughs> Have a nice day. What else do you sell? Um, we've got my toy, Owly. Twit to woo. OK, I'll buy Owly. Here is a button. Thank you. Now Owly is yours. Ooh, it's lovely and cuddly. Can I have Owly back now? What? But I've just bought it for a button. It's just a pretend shop, Mummy. Oh, of course. Owly. Susie Sheep loves her toy owl. Next. Oh, I'm feeling thirsty. Do you have any fruit juice? Um, no. Sorry, Daddy. But we can order some in. The clubhouse has a toy wooden telephone. Hello. We need fruit juice. Thank you. Goodbye. They said we'll have their fruit juice tomorrow. Oh, I see. OK. See you tomorrow. Have a nice day. Next. Have you got any cakes? Yes, Mummy. We've got a cake in the toy oven. The toy oven is made of wood and has a light that comes on inside. What kind of cake do you want it to be? Um, can it be a carrot cake? OK, it's a carrot cake. That looks delicious. I can't wait to try it. <sighs> it's a plastic toy cake, Mummy. It's not real. Of course. And how much does it cost? One button, please. Have a nice day. Next. What else are you selling in your shop today? Got magic clothes. Ooh, are they invisible clothes? Yes, they are made with the finest cloth. Fantastic! I'll look like an emperor. They cost five buttons. Very expensive, but I suppose that's what you have to pay for invisible clothes. You can try them on if you like, Mr. Pig. Leave your old clothes here. Thank you, but I think I'll try them on at home. Have a nice day. That was quite a queue. Now it's finally my turn. I'd like to buy a... Sorry, Daddy, we're closing. Bye. Have a nice day. <laughs> it is time for the children to take a break. It is hard work running a shop. Here is Mr. Labrador in his ice cream van. <laughs> Hello, children. What can I get you? Ice cream, please. Ice cream, ice cream. Thank you. <laughs> Here is the money. Hang on. These are just buttons. The buttons are pretend money. Of course. Pretend money. How charming. Oh, oh, I'm afraid I haven't got any real money either. No problem, Mr Pig. We take cards. So, that's all the children's ice creams and one for you. 
Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best clubhouse in the whole wide world. Pepper and her friends love the clubhouse. <laughs> Everyone loves the clubhouse. The diner. Pepper and her family are in America on their way to Hollywood. I love this motorhome. <laughs> a motorhome is a house that you can drive. Are we in Hollywood yet, Daddy Pig? Let's ask someone. Hello. Hello. Well, howdy, folks. I'm Miss Rabbit. Oh, it's another Miss Rabbit. Yep, there's a lot of us around. What can I do you for? Stopping for some gas? No. Uh, but to eat? Well, we... Country dancing. We would just like to know if we're in Hollywood, please. No, ma'am. You're a long way from Hollywood. Oh. But as you're here, why don't you just settle down and get some of that good old home cooking in your belly? Well, I suppose we could stop for breakfast. Hooray! Hooray! So what'll it be? Sunny side up or sunny side down? Eggs over easy, no need to frown. <laughs> <laughs> Eggs over easy, please. Coming right up. Cooking an egg and shaking a leg. Cooking and shaking and cooking an egg. What's eggs over easy? I flip the egg over. Thank you. And what's sunny side up? I don't flip the egg over. It stays like this. Sunny side up, please. And me. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is good at cooking eggs. Cooking an egg and shaking a leg. Cooking and shaking and cooking an egg. I love my sunny side up egg. Mmm. Eggy. <laughs> Thank you. That was delicious. Now I'll just sit back, relax, and... So, who likes dancing? Me! Good! Then y'all come and meet Mr. Bob Bobcat and his band. All join hands and step to the right. Keep on stepping and make it tight. Oh my gosh, oh my Joe. Keep on stepping and here we go. Let's all join in. Y'all be needing these. <laughs> Take your partner by the hand. Now everybody swing. Do the singing? Yes, please. <laughs> Monster trucks. Monster truck. This is a monster truck. Wow! Those big wheels have got a car on top of them. <laughs> Mr. Coyote is going to jump over a big muddy puddle. <laughs> that looks fun. You can have a go, Daddy Pig. Oh, okay. Oh, it is a bit high. Daddy Pig does not like heights. You need to go faster to jump over the puddle. Faster, Daddy! Whoa. Ah. <laughs> Daddy's truck is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I think we need to get back on the road to Hollywood. Hollywood? Yes, we're going to be in a movie with Super Potato and Hash Brown. Hash Brown? Well, he's my favourite. You can come too if you like. Oh, I would love to, darling, but I'm kind of busy. Goodbye now. Oh, thanks for stopping by. Thank, Thank you. you. Pepper and her family are back on the road to Hollywood. Kylie Kangaroo. It is a lovely sunny day. Mr and Mrs Kangaroo have come to visit. Hello. G'day, Mr Pig. We met at the airport, remember? Um... 
It was a while back. You said we could visit any time. Did I? Yeah. Since we last saw you, we've had Kylie and Joey. Say hello, kids. Hello, I'm Kylie Kangaroo. I'm Peppa Pig. <coughs> and this is my little brother, George. <coughs> this is my little brother, Joey. <coughs> Joey lives in Mummy Kangaroo's pocket. <laughs> it's thirsty work, this travelling around. Would you like a drink? Yes, please. Lemonade. My favourite. Mmm, that's lovely. Here, sit down. Are you hungry? I'm always hungry. No worries. We'll make lunch. Mr Kangaroo is going to cook lunch on a barbecue. Corn on the cob, anyone? Yum. Yummy. We should do this at our house. Hang on. This is our house. Come on, Kylie. Let's play in the garden. We can play my favourite game, jumping up and down in muddy puddles. I like jumping too. First we have to find a puddle. Oh, there aren't any muddy puddles. The ground is too dry for muddy puddles. I wish it would rain. I hope it doesn't rain. Oh, we love rain. We don't see much of it back home. Well, if you want to make it rain in this country, have a barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> we can still do jumping. George is quite good at jumping, but I am the best. Watch this. That's how you do it. Now you try, Kylie. OK. Kangaroos can jump very high. Wow. Here is Rebecca Rabbit. Hello, Rebecca. This is my friend, Kylie. Hello, Kylie. Squeak. Are you playing a game? We are jumping. Rabbits are the best at jumping. Watch this. Well done, Rebecca. But that's not as good as my friend Kylie. Go on, do your jump. I don't want to show off. Do it. OK. That is high. Kylie <laughs> Kangaroo is the best at jumping. Here is Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Nay. Hello, Pedro. This is my friend, Kylie Kangaroo. She's my friend. She can jump higher than anyone. No one can jump higher than me or my super space hopper. Show him, Kylie. But Pedro did really well. Do it. OK. <laughs> Wow! Kylie Kangaroo is the best at jumping. I could jump higher, but I'm a little bit tired. Ugh! What was that? It is raining. Like I said, if you want it to rain, start a barbecue. I'm afraid we'll all have to go indoors. What? And miss the rain? <laughs> <laughs> Mr Kangaroo has got a big umbrella to shelter everyone from the rain. Food's ready. Who's hungry? Me! Me! Mmm, yummy! Pepper likes corn on the cob. Mm. Everyone likes corn on the cob. It stopped raining. The rain makes everything so fresh and green. And wet. And muddy! <laughs> <laughs> this is how you jump in muddy puddles. Well, that looks fun. <laughs> I'm the best at jumping, but Peppa's the best at jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> Edmund Elephant's birthday. <laughs> Mr Zebra the postman is delivering a letter to Peppa's house. Oh, look, someone's got a party invitation. <laughs> it must be for me. It says, to George Pig from Edmund Elephant, please come to my party. Doesn't it say George and Peppa? No, just George. Hmm. <laughs> I didn't want to go to a silly baby party anyway. Hello. Oh, it's for you, Peppa. It's Emily Elephant. Hello. Hello, Peppa. Do you want to come to Edmund's party as my friend? Oh, yes, 
please. My mummy wants us to help with the little ones. Help? Yes, I can help. Danny and Susie are helpers too. Oh, goody. <laughs> Everyone is here for Edmund Elephant's party. <laughs> oh, the helpers are here. Hello, Hello Mrs. Mrs. Elephant. Elephant. Let's get this party started. <laughs> Who wants to play musical statues? Yay! This is what you do. Dance when the music is playing and when it stops, freeze like a statue. Ready, steady, go. Just dance already. <laughs> this one is still blinking. You're out. You're moving, George. You're out. <laughs> Richard and Edmund are out. <laughs> so Zaza is the winner. Hooray! You've got a medal. It's made of real plastic gold. <laughs> 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 yeah! Mummy, musical statues is over. Lovely. Yeah! Now it's time for Pass the Parcel. Yay! When the music plays, pass the parcel round. When the music stops, take some paper off. Ready, steady, go! George, pass the parcel! Edmund has got a medal. <laughs> Richard, just take the paper off. Richard has got a medal. <laughs> George has got a medal. <laughs> Pass the parcel. Oh dear, George isn't passing the parcel. <laughs> <laughs> it's a giant teddy. Edmund has won. Yeah! Mummy, pass the parcel is finished. Um, lovely. Now it's time for food. Hooray! <laughs> oh, the helpers have taken all the seats. This is Edmund's party, remember? The helpers can eat after the little ones. Oh, yes. We're the helpers. <laughs> Goose, please. Cheese, please. Juice, please. Jelly, please. Jelly, jelly. More, please. Happy birthday, Edmund. Happy birthday, Edmund. It is the end of the party. Thank you to the helpers. You all worked really hard. Yes. It's not easy looking after little children. <sighs> I need to lie down. I need a holiday. <laughs> Blackberry bush. Pepper and her family are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Today, I'm going to make apple and blackberry crumble. Yummy! I need you brave explorers to go and get the fruit. Hi, hi, Granny, Granny Pig. Pig! We've got baskets for the apples. And buckets for the blackberries. First, the easy bit, picking apples. On the count of three, shake the tree. One, One two, two, three! three. <laughs> <laughs> now for the blackberries. Why don't we just have apple crumble? Because blackberries are tasty too, Grandpa. OK, now the hard bit. Now that's what I call a blackberry bush. This bush has been here since I was a little piggy. It's an overgrown weed. I should have cut it down years ago. Grandpa, why don't you like it? I don't like the way it looks at me. Silly Grandpa, it's just a harmless bush. And it's covered in lovely blackberries. 
George has seen some really big, juicy blackberries. Mm. Careful, George, or you might get tangled. <laughs> I have a stick for picking hard to reach blackberries. <laughs> Clever, Grandpa. But the best blackberries are right at the very top. That's why I brought the ladder. Um, don't lean too far over, Mummy Pig. Don't worry. I've been climbing this blackberry bush since I was a little girl. Yes, but you're not a little girl now. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, dear. Mummy Pig has fallen into the blackberry bush. Mummy, can you get out? Uh, no. I'm stuck. You're stuck in a thorny bush like Sleeping Beauty. What? Once upon a time, there was a princess called Sleeping Beauty. One day, she fell asleep in a thorny bush and she stayed there for a hundred years. Yes, that's a nice story, Pepper. It is Susie Sheep. <laughs> Hello, Pepper. <laughs> Hello, Susie. My mummy is in a blackberry bush. And she'll be there for a hundred years. Like Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> and she'll be rescued by a handsome prince who will give her a kiss. <laughs> my mummy is having an adventure. I wish my mummy would have adventures like that. Um, can someone think of a way to get me out of here? Don't worry, mummy. In a hundred years, a handsome prince will rescue you. I'll be that handsome prince. Grandpa Pig, may I borrow your pruning shears, please? Of course you may, brave Sir Daddy Pig. Stand back, everyone. Take that, you thorny bush, you. Oh, my prince. My princess. You were meant to stay in there for a hundred years. That was quite long enough, thank you. <laughs> Mummy is a black Berry bush. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this sort of thing only happened to me. Stand still while we pick you. <laughs> Let's take all this fruit back to Granny Pig. Granny, Granny, Mummy had an adventure. And then Mummy fell in the bush. She looked quite silly and she was going Help me! Help me! And then Daddy came and rescued her. The end. Thank you, Pepper. I think we've all heard that story enough times now. But it's funny. I never want to see another blackberry in my life. So you don't want any apple and blackberry crumble, then? Well... Mmm, delicious. Mummy Pig loves apple and blackberry crumble. Everyone loves apple and blackberry crumble. <laughs> <laughs>